So why are we in an epidemic of burnout? Like so much else, it starts with leadership. There's a Harvard Medical School study that shows that 96% of all senior leaders have experienced some degree of burnout, and a third of all senior leaders have experienced severe burnout. And you know what? We look to those leaders to be our chief energy officers, for better and for worse. What they do, we tend to copy. So if they're emailing at night, if they're working all weekend, if they're pushing till they drop, if they're never leaving their desks for lunch, and most of you leaders out there are probably guilty of some or all of those, the likelihood is you're giving a powerful message to your people, do what I do. Ergo, burnout. The second way leaders are falling short is that they're neither providing the skills nor the encouragement and support for people to actually take care of themselves. Look, that's never been considered something that was important. Take care of yourself when you're home. When you're here, go for it. We need to actually have leaders who recognize that equipping their people to take care of themselves, to refuel their tanks, is as important as giving them the skills they need to do their job. And then the third component of this is how do we actually evaluate performance? And the traditional way in many, many organizations is how many hours do you put in? If you are there burning the midnight oil, you are a great performer. Think about it, it's nonsense. Is that what you're trying to measure? How many hours someone puts in? Is there any guarantee that that's gonna to lead to greater revenue? The most likely outcome of that is you burn people out. So what is it you really want to evaluate on? You certainly do want to hold people accountable. You certainly do want to measure output and decide whether or not that person is delivering. But what you're concerned about is not the number of hours they work, it's the value they create. And the best way to create value is to find a rhythmic balance between the expenditure of energy and the renewal of energy. Because the more consistent energy you have in the tank, the higher you're gonna perform and the more sustainably you're gonna perform.